guys, it's Lila on slide to the left. Currently just come back from an optician's appointment, which went horrifically wrong, but we'll get to that in a minute. So yeah, I haven't made a sit down chatty video in quite a while, and that is because I lost my voice for a really long time. And then I was in New York, and I made a video about that, and if you haven't watched it, go, because that took me freaking forever to make, so you better appreciate it. Anyway, here I am today with an unplanned video once again. Clearly I don't plan my videos a lot, do I? And I'm here to tell you and update you on things in my life that have happened. Ah. Yay! As I just said, I've just been back from the opticians and I went originally for a contact lenses appointment. I'd never worn contacts before and I was really, really scared, honestly. I don't like things going in my eyes. It just kind of terrified me, but my mum was like, you're gonna do it. You could do it. Yeah! One thing led to another and then I'm standing outside Specsavers. Uh, thinking why did I ever decide to do this? Sit in there waiting in the waiting room for about half an hour, which shouldn't really help with the nerves, I'll be honest. And then I walk in, lady, she's great, she's really lovely. She's like, okay, so we're gonna put them in now. And then she puts the first one in, right, in my right eye. And I'm like, oh my god, this is great. This, I, I feel fine. Fabulous, blah, blah, blah. And then she moves over to my left eye, right? Now my left eye is rugby ball shaped, apparently. So she was like, it's gonna feel a bit different. So I was like, Okay, cool. Anyway, she starts putting it in. My eye starts twitching. I won't let her put it in, or rather my eye won't let it self work. I don't know. Anyway, she has to try and put it in at least three times. And at this point, I'm like, what's Clearly, my body kind of freaked out. And anyway, the fourth time she tried to put it in, I fainted. Charlie is trying to eat my hand right now. He's, he's that annoyed. So yeah, um, I rebooked the appointment and it's in like May now, so I've got a while to recover, but... <laughs> Why? I thought I'd come here, talk to you and eat some cookie dough ice cream, which I stole from my friends. <laughs> I mean, I didn't really steal it as such because like there was loads of food there and uh, I kind of said, Hey guys, there's an unopened pot of cookie dough. Does anyone mind if I take it? No one responded, so I, I took that as, yeah, go ahead, Isla. <laughs> if you're judging me right now for eating out of the pot, you clearly have never lived. Mm. So obviously, as you know, I went to New York with my buddies. It was a great time. It was only four days, but we like made so many memories and I just absolutely loved it. It was such a great time. Really distracted me from my revision, which... Uh, <laughs> also, Kinky Boots and Anastasia were the two plays that we went to see. They were incredible. I highly recommend to go and see them. But the one thing I would say is that Kinky Boots... <laughs> okay, so if you know the play, the main character is called Lola slash Simon. We had a Q&A session with one of the angels the next day. He was basically telling us that the Lola we saw was only there for two weeks, um, which we were like, wow, that's incredible. Anyway, I find out that the Lola that was there two weeks before was freaking Todd Drake Hall. And I was like, what? We missed him by two weeks? Are you kidding me? So yeah, that was someone that really pissed me off. Not saying that the Lola we saw was bad because he was incredible, but I would have really liked to see Todrick because it's it's Todrick. What can I what else can I say? Also, the new girl finale. Let's talk about it. If you don't watch the new girl slash you haven't watched it yet, please skip. I'll put in a time when I finish talking about this. Okay, so I really hope there's a season seven. At this point in filming, there has not been a cancelled slash renewed decision yet. And I really want there to be one. I really want to see Nick and Jess together. Like, I've been, we've been waiting for the whole season six, and they only did the last episode. Throughout the season, I was getting really pissed off that they weren't, like, putting them to go sooner. They did do it well in the final episode. I did like how they did it. But I still think they could have brought it in quicker, because that season really dragged out for me. But I really want to see them, like, properly together, like, season three all over again. Like, I think that would just be really cute. And, oh, oh, and the baby, the, oh my god. Schmidt and Cece having a baby. It's just, it's just goals, isn't it? I don't like using the word because it makes me cringe, but it is. Oh, they're just so adorable. You can see my room is like a freaking mess right now. I mean, 
Actually, I don't think you can because the camera's like tilted at that angle, but it means you can't see my floor. Let's take you on a tour of the mess. First of all, here is my unlaid bed with random cushions, blanket, and duvet just kind of scattered everywhere. And then we have a selection of things on the floor, including shoes and slippers, lovely. Books, because revision is a thing that is fun. Clothes I wore yesterday but aren't dirty enough to go in the washing, so I just left them for another day. And then we've still got um, passing my driving test cards, because I... I don't know where to put them right now. <laughs> Side note, I got this bag when I bought a pair of shoes in this awesome shoe shop in Camden in London. It's called a Regular Choice. Um, it's genuinely the coolest shop I have ever been to in my entire life. The people that work there look like they were having so much fun because they were just dancing in the shop. Just dancing to the music. And I was like, I want to be you. Anyway, so that was my room. That was a good bit of cookie, that one. I'm also planning on changing my wall very soon because, as you will see, when you see my wall, a lot of it is very out of date. The last time I um, made it was like 2015 and a lot of the fountains and stuff I don't really like anymore and I kind of find really cringy. So I don't particularly like waking up in the morning and just seeing that because, you know, it's not, it's not great. So anyway, I've been putting memes and stuff on my computer already saved up so I can print them out. Majority of them are Hamilton um, ones because, <laughs> because what else would you do? Anyway, that's my life situation at the moment. I feel like I've ranted at you enough and I should leave and work. <laughs> if you haven't watched my New York video already, please do. The link will be over here in a short second. I spent so long in it, I've already said it, but I just, I'm just really proud of it and I think it's really artsy and witty and I just really appreciate you going and supporting that. Yeah. <laughs> Please like, subscribe and comment any suggestions of videos you want me to do because as you can see I'm just ranting right now. Click here for my New York video and click over here for my Amsterdam video because that's another artsy thing I did mm, a couple of months ago. See you next week. Goodbye. <laughs>